Yeah, what's up? Moki here. So, I was in a game, getting footage for a Rampart Sheila bug that gives you 100% accuracy when you put it on a sloped surface and enter it while crouched. And random teens just wouldn't stop disturbing me in my science quest. So I took them out one after the other and they just wouldn't stop coming. Which in the end somehow led to me getting 4k damage for the very first time. It was a weird game. But first we gotta thank today's sponsor, the Apex Legends Tracker app. If you've been around Apex long enough, you know about Apex Tracker. I for example have used their statistics to show legend pick rates in the past. The Apex Legends Tracker app brings those stats directly onto your PC and therefore can provide much deeper insights. Wanna know how many Preds and Masters matchmaking truly put into your game? Use the in-game overlay showing you who's in your lobby and what rank they are. Wanna know your average placement or which legend or weapon you're most effective with? Use the detailed statistics in the app. It's completely free so download it today via the link in the description or pinned comment. So my 4k game starts with me dropping here. My thought was to get footage of the no spread Sheila bug while firing into an area people are very familiar with and have a feeling for distances. That's why I went outside capital to shoot into it. Sadly there were two AFKs here that I had to take out for the risk of them sabotaging my testing when they come back. That's why I already have two kills when the actual in-game footage starts. This is how the Sheila bug looks by the way. Look at the non-existent spread. This has however been patched since then. After playing around with that for a bit, the actual disturbances from the enemy started happening. Cause they cracked me, I expect a push and drop into cover to heal. Here I could have placed a rampart wall before starting the battery, so I wouldn't have to back up and lose space when they get close. Cause the Valkyrie neither strafes or crouches, I assume that she's worse than me and that I can chase after her. This could have been bad with the teammate waiting for me, but I get away with it. Since the Mirage only has a Mozambique and I cracked him, I risk another push to prevent the Valkyrie from healing. Cause I'm now considerably low and don't want to push my luck a third time, I decide to fully heal up. Luck has it that another team falls into their back and I can easily secure the kill before healing my health to prepare for the next team. I suspect that the Valkyrie that just lifted off belongs to the Revenant, which makes him safe to push. I did however not expect him here, but a tap strafe and some decent aim save me. Since I now hear the Valkyrie landing behind me, I push for the furboard and continue to gain distance while popping the battery. Oh, little tree saves my life. And we are kill leader. A little shake to express my disbelief that I get to continue my science before heading back to my Sheila nest. Chance has it that some enemies walk into my cone of fire. I didn't plan to actually shoot at someone using a glitch, but sometimes you have to accept your fate. I get damaged so I try to heal and get back on my turret as the next team arrives to prevent that. While I'm also getting harassed by the team I just shot at. I notice the sniper player on top too late, but because my wall is already building, I get cocky, stay put and manage to down the caustic. But I also realize that I can't heal for too long, else they will get an easy res off, so I push up. On my way there, I track death boxes and potential armor swaps. But some good damage and another tap strafe juke and I feel like I can do it without the armor swap. Because I'm running out of heavy ammo at this point, I decide to switch to an R301, using it to do some distance damage and let the team know I'm here and own this space. After getting a bit low on ammo again, I decide to loot up and after fighting enough light ammo, I decide to also switch out the vault for an R9. The next minute is a perfect example of my inconsistency. If you only play the game for 2 hours every 2-3 to three weeks, consistency in aiming, decision making, spatial awareness etc goes out the window, but see for yourself. Tracking is accurate, but lags behind. Here I just assumed the steps to my left were a mirage decoy for whatever reason. And what is this? What? What is that? I switched to an arc star, but overextend as if I was still holding a gun. 
At least I remember I'm playing Rampart. Another shake to acknowledge that I shouldn't be alive. I take my sweet time to loot and heal up since I'm afraid of the next third party, which promptly arrives. Doesn't even have a heat shield on a key. What? Oh, that's a decoy. Wait, a decoy doesn't loot. Another perfect example of the inconsistency problem. If you don't play regularly, it just takes your brain so long to process certain things and make decisions. Quick reset and making sure there isn't a sixth third party before super gliding into realizing that there are five squads left and my damage is looking pretty good at this point. Before getting confused and thinking flower petals are enemies. Quick surround check during which I hear shots down in countdown. So let's go there because I heard those shots further in the back and now also hear shots to my right, I pretty much know where the four remaining teams are. Pathfinder heals, good time to take shots. Reverse doors to create cover into the opposite direction. I hear someone walking behind me, get lucky and pray I won't get pushed from the right. Now I hear one enemy walking to the left. So I push, but hear a second enemy and cancel my push. I prevent their push, but now in the back of my head I'm getting very afraid of getting sandwiched from behind. So I continue my push and get lucky. I now hear the second teammate behind me, so I make more distance to heal. The other team is still here. So, uh... Prevent the sandwich and commit to the other team. Get the knock, prevent the res. Do some good damage and get lucky to not be out aimed. Prioritize healing. Now prioritize covering the angle for the third party. Now I feel safe to thirst. No ammo. So switch guns again. Now I'm getting perfectly sandwiched from the right and left and I'm running out of ammo. So I decide to take the low ground and bunker up. With the two other teams now deciding to do absolutely nothing for the next two minutes. In terms of playing around this three team structure and hoping for picks or third parties, nothing happens. I do some good damage here and realize I'm a hundred damage away from the 4k. Somehow I'm not the one getting third party, but they finally decide to start fighting each other close quarters. I have two more mags in my vault, the 4k is happening now or never. Here I could have used my ultimate to shoot them in the back, but that's definitely nothing my brain is aware of at that moment. I just need 100 damage. And there it is. And where is the other team? D doesn't matter. I don't care anymore. I'm pretty sure I will lose. I got my 4k. <laughs> it's all good. They let them res. Where's the other team? Getting an armor swap? Still desperate for weapons or ammo, but nothing. Where's the other team? Where's the other team? Where's the other team? Where's the other team? Oh, there's the other team. Meh, some more damage. Okay, uh, let's try something. But nah, GG, thanks for the 4k. A week after getting this game, I got another 4k game, which I managed to also win. I don't have much footage of it, but I thought since you made it to the end, you deserve to see me win a 4k game. I hope you enjoyed this little analytical look at my very first 4k game. Hopefully I can someday make such a video about my first 20 kill game. And I will see you in the next video.